Let's take a peek at what's happened in Metro Atlanta's real estate market in the last seven days. We're going to give you four different categories of information, and we're going to try to figure out what's happening in the market. Is inventory expanding? Is inventory contracting? Are there more opportunities out there for buyers, less opportunities, better opportunities for sellers, worse opportunities for sellers? I know a seven day snapshot doesn't seem like it would give you a good indication of what's going on in the market, but it actually does. In the last seven days, there have been 1,052 homes listed for sale in Metro Atlanta. To give you an idea, that number probably averaged more like 1,700 to 2,000 May, June, July, August. 1,438 homes were placed under contract in the last week, 1,438, which means more than 400 homes went under contract than the number of homes listed for the week. How about that? Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense, which means inventory contracted somewhat for the week. You say, well, how many do we normally have? Five or six or 7,000 homes for sale. In the last seven days, 2,640 homes sold and closed. They were put under contract, took 30 or 40 days on average and closed in the last seven days. But now listen to this. And this is specifically for any buyer out there who feels like they've been shut out of the market for the last, really almost for the last year. Uh, certainly January, February of this year, we realized that 2021 was not going to be a year like any other in Metro Atlanta's real estate, really not like any other throughout the United States of America. Demand increased, the supply decreased, and it created the perfect storm and so many buyers who have been out in the market this year trying to buy a home. I bet they feel like they've been through a, you know, 12 or 14 round heavyweight boxing championship match. And unfortunately, I bet they feel like they've come out the loser. And they don't feel like there's as many opportunities out there for people to buy homes in today's world. Now, in the last seven days, in the last seven days only, 1,076 home sellers. Let me say that one more time. 1,076 home sellers reduced the price of their home. That means there were more sellers who reduced their price last week in the last seven days than the total number of homes listed for the week. So if you have lost faith in your ability to be able to buy a home, now might be the time to jump back out there and give it a try again. Who knows? You might this time be one of only two or three buyers at the table trying to make an offer on a home, not the 18 or 20 or 25 buyers who were at the table the last time you made an offer on a home. What does the last seven days mean for home sellers? It means inventory has contracted, which is good for you because the less homes there are out there for sale, uh, the more of an advantage you have as a home seller.